I'm Michelle Vilvisser, backyard sugar maker, author of Sweet Maple, which ranked number one in food science, and owner of Solely Rested, as well as this YouTube channel of the same name. So thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about the best way to measure the sugar content of your syrup. One of the most common questions that I get is what is the best tool to help you know when your syrup is actually syrup? You see, when you take your syrup into the kitchen, you're boiling it with very close attention, you're monitoring it really closely. What you're looking for is the right temperature and the right bricks. For the thermometer, any good candy thermometer is gonna serve you well, but it's a very special tool that measures the bricks. Bricks is simply the sugar content of your syrup. And in order for it to actually be syrup, it needs to be 66% sugar, or 66 bricks. So today, I'm going to take you into where we're boiling our sap, and I'm gonna show you my most favorite tool of all for measuring the bricks and knowing if your syrup is ready to bottle. Let me show you. So while you have quite a few options of how you can measure your bricks, I do have a personal favorite, and that's what I'm gonna show you. It's called a refractometer. Today, we have just one turkey fryer boiling away. Not ready to bottle yet, but it's been boiling all day. We have been adding sap to it. So I'm going to test the sugar level. I'm gonna show you how I did it. See if I can prop my, <laughs> my phone right here. Let's see, the wood, I'm prop, trying to prop this on a stack of wood, so I don't really have a level surface. Let's see, hopefully that'll work. I think that's sturdy, I think. Okay, let me show you this right back up. It is a really handy tool, and it's really simple to use. In here, there is a little piece of glass, and when you put sap or syrup on that little glass, the light refracts through it when you reset it and tell it to, and it is able to measure how, basically how cloudy it is, how much impurity there is. And the higher impurity means the higher sugar. What it's really measuring, of course, is your sugar. So let me show you. To, I have to turn it on first, that would be important. And then I'm gonna zero it out. So I have flat lines. And get just a drop of my syrup. You just need a drop. And then, oh, I just wasted three drops. Tell it to read. And now let's see if I can put this down and move my phone over to show you. I don't know if that's going to show. I hit read and I get 34.9. So that's telling me that my bricks is almost 35. If you remember, I told you it needs to be 66. So even though the color is looking gorgeous, I know I still have a long way to go. But here's the really cool thing about a refractometer. I can also measure the sugar quality of my sap, which is a great thing to do, to know from the beginning of the season to the end how your sugar quality is faring. And for me, it's really important to measure it so that I can test my RO filter and know how well 
my reverse osmosis system is working at getting rid of the permeate and keeping the sugar and how quickly and effectively it's doing that. And I can measure that simply by measuring the sap when it's going in and measuring it as it's coming out of the system and it tells me the difference in sugar quality. So let me show you how I'm gonna use the refractometer to measure the sugar in my sap. So over here, I have a bucket of sap that we have put it into the turkey fryer and boiled it all down, but for some crazy reason, I don't know why, I missed maybe a half a gallon, no, that's not a half a gallon, maybe about a quart of sap in the bottom of this. I have no idea why, but it works out perfectly for right now because I can show you what I'm talking about with the sap. I'm gonna set you down on the floor now <laughs> with the sap and my refractometer. So I cleaned off my my, my glass on here and now I'm going to zero it out again so it's all ready. Get some sap, just plain old tree sap. Put that on there and now ask it to read again. Okay, so this is giving me a false data because when I cleaned off my glass, I just used a clean rag that I had out here and wiped it. I didn't actually clean it off with water and get it nice and clean because I'm getting a false reading. I'm pretty sure there's no way my sugar content is that high in my maple trees. I would be extremely happy with about a three. So a six is about double what it should be. Um, so I'm gonna clean it off well and try again. Never mind, because now as I look again, my husband had this all set up with the RO filter. So this sap has been RO'd. For the end of the season, for it to come out at a 6.2, that's actually pretty good, because at the end of the season, your sugar content's going to be lower. So this has run through the reverse, <laughs> reverse osmosis filter, and it's coming up at 6% sugar. So that's probably started out around two. I don't have any fresh sap right here in this area. Um, in fact, maybe I will go find some and we'll try it with that. Okay, so I brought my refractometer out to a nearby collection tub. I'm gonna get under my tubing here and I'm going to take the sap right out of the tub. It's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> and then we'll measure the sugar content coming right out of the tree. See the tubing's coming right out of the tree into our bucket. This, by the way, at the end of the season shows you why you have to filter a lot. We obviously are gonna filter this before we RO it and boil it. Okay. I zeroed out my refractometer. I'm gonna add my sap. I'm gonna ask it to read. Okay. And this is reading pretty much exactly what I thought. It's only 1.5 sugar content this time of the year. So you see this one instrument measures the sugar content no matter what stage the sap is, whether it's right out of the tree, right, or whether it's been boiling for hours, or whether it's ready to be bottled. Any stage along the way, the refractometer can tell you your sugar content, and that's extremely helpful to a backyard sugar maker. There are other instruments that can do this, but there's no other single instrument that can measure at every stage. If you use a hydrometer, that's a perfectly fine option, but you are gonna need a different style hydrometer if you want to measure the sugar content of your sap out of the tree. A whole different tool than the one you're gonna to use to measure for your syrup. The refractometer that I'm showing you, you just need one tool, it does the job at every stage. I hope that is helpful. I know for a long time I was very confused how a refractometer worked until we got one. And boy, once we got one, there is no turning back. Love it. Highly recommend it.